Let's make this speed ramp effect in After Effects. So I'm gonna take my clip of this guy on a mountain and I'm gonna bring it into a new composition. I'm gonna right click on my clip and I'm gonna enable time remapping. You'll notice there's a keyframe right in the beginning and right at the end. So I'll make a keyframe about a second and a half right where my speed ramp starts. Then I'm gonna to go to the end of my composition and I'm gonna make another keyframe about 25 seconds in, right where he turns his head. So now I'm gonna take my two ending keyframes and I'm gonna drag them to the beginning of my composition. The speed ramp is starting to take shape, but it's a little abrupt, so I'm gonna fix that. So if I select my clips and I go to the graph editor, you can see the graph is pretty sharp with these keyframes. We wanna make this a lot smoother. So I'm gonna get rid of my graph editor for now. I'm gonna click on one of my keyframes and I'm gonna select keyframe interpolation and then I'm gonna select Auto Bezier. Or you could simply command click on your keyframe and that'll create the Auto Bezier. So if I go to my graph editor, you could see it really smoothed out. Before we continue, if you're finding this useful, tap that like button so it could spread to more viewers like you. All right, let's take a look at our clip now. Much better. Now to take it one step further, I'm gonna add an adjustment layer right above my clip I'm gonna trim it down to right where the two keyframes are during my speed up. Then I'm gonna add the effect CC force motion blur on my adjustment layer. This basically creates a motion blur from the moving pixels in any scene. So I'm gonna leave this at the default setting. You could see you could change the motion blur samples or the shutter angle. I'm gonna keep this as is. You could add some sound effects to it to sell the effect even more. Let's take a look. This effect works great when you have footage that's usually about 60 frames per second or more, so you have more frames to work with and more latitude with your time warp. Great tool to have in your arsenal. Check out our other videos if you're finding this one helpful, and we'll see you next time.